I hit record and nobody fucking has a conversation now. <laughs> nobody has anything to talk about. <laughs> you were late, you start the conversation. It's just yeah. dead silence. Aren't it's you not my day. fault I got drunk last night and I uh, woke up a little late. A little late? I'm your LP, okay? Oh, I make all decisions. Oh, really? I can do what I want, when I want, however I want. Oh. Are we in the right place? Yeah, this is a town. Where's Perhaps our... Go check the map? Where's our cabin? Um... The map I says to... we're in the right place. That's a very good question. This stuff um, looks familiar. Uh, is it something. not supposed to be straight ahead? That's what I thought. Something ain't right here. Uh, yeah, that's, that's definitely where it was. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Um, well, we have a problem. <laughs> that's all I got to say. Who the hell else is here? Did it get destroyed or? Oh, I guess you're getting out. I'm going to look at this. Let's go check this. I would have your gun drawn just in case. Yeah. Something yeah, because you might get attacked by a bear and. Yeah, I don't trust those woods back there. Yeah. I don't have issues. Yeah, this is where our base was. I'm so confused. Hmm. Well, what do we do here, boys? Well, we're going to have to rebuild, obviously, because we can't sleep out underneath the stars. Especially my... knowing that there's bears in these bushes back here. <laughs> That's right. Absolutely not. Well, I'm in the truck. <laughs> well, I think if we're... I think if we're going to build a base. We should probably do it right, unlike that last dummy that built that tiny, I guess... Depending how many people he had with him, it might have been perfect for him, but there's three of us. We need a little more space than what we had. Yeah, I'm winded because I'm fat, so hold on. Give yeah, me a you second snore. to catch my breath. What are you doing over there, Freckles? Making my bed because I ain't sleeping out on the ground. I see you. Yeah, I guess we're just going to have to collect resources, spend eight and a half hours dragging wood two feet at a time Yep. and build ourselves a base. But if we're going to do this, we might as well do it right. Let's, uh, you know, build a nice big base. Let's get our cooking set up. Let's get our bathing set up. Nice well, place should... to have a shower. Fucking, yeah. You know, that kind of stuff, right? We should look into maybe like a, some type of lookout tower. Maybe put some defenses around our building because clearly... Uh... We need that. Yeah. yeah. And then I think uh, we should also try and get communication with those wonderful people that we you, call you, zero and try to us. see if they have any information. It is just us here. You can't call them, you know, stupid idiots. Yeah. Well, the last one that we talked to over the radio, um, I think there was something a little bit wrong with him. It, 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 it sounded a little funny, but, you know. We're not here to uh, make fun of people. We're here to survive. So, yeah, let's uh, let's try and get on this. Let's try and build this and maybe have a drink tonight. Sounds good. Let's get to work. All right. Uh, I went the wrong way. Sorry, guys. I started walking toward the woods. I thought I saw a bear. Lieutenant Sarge, how's it going now? Oh, not much. It's going pretty good. Awesome. So what do you guys think so far of these blueprints? No, I like it. It's start. a good start. It's a good start to a new to a new base. Perfect. Well, sun's only up for so long, so start cutting trees and get some logs moved. Yeah. So we'll be able to throw a base on top of this, something a little bit bigger, and have some space for cooking or whatever else. It'll be all right. Yeah, it's more storage. Maybe get some trophies up on the wall. I've seen quite a few animals, including bears. Watch, there's one behind us. 
let's uh let's not speak about bears. Oh wow, there is actually a bear. I'm gonna just... Oh there is too. Oh my goodness. Here, hold on, I just wanna run into the woods without my gun. Hold on. Let me run into the woods without it. Okay. Go get him, Matt. Oh, did you guys kill it? Uh, I'm not sure if we killed it, but I got a, two hits in on it. I don't even know where it went. Up the hill. It's right up the hill, I think. I got blood Oh, here. Jesus! Oh, there's oh a wolf. Oh, my God, there's a wolf! Ah! Jesus! He's it's dead. crap. Where did that thing come from? It just, like, spawned on top of me and started mowing down on me. That's a wolf, and I wonder where that bear went. Holy crap, man. My heart's going about... Uh, the bear's over there, but I can't aim down sight. Is he dead? No, he's walking. Seriously? Yeah. Stay. Anyways. Now that that's kind of dealt with. Yeah. Anywho. Hey, so uh, this, is, uh, this is what the wolves look like. If uh, yeah. nobody's seen them yet. They magically spawn on top of you and scare the living daylights out of you and make your heart race. The scarier thing is at night when these things are chasing you. And you can't see them? And you can't see them. And then all of a sudden they're on top of you. But yeah, so uh, we'll bring you guys back in a little bit here once we get more of the base built. Um, this is going to take forever oh. hours to be able to bring all the wood and everything from these trees in slowly move them from the inventory so yeah we'll see everybody in a bit You guys inside right now? Yeah. Right on. This is our fantastic and beautiful deck. What were you guys thinking about uh, inside of here? Kind of over in this area. Oh, freckles. Wow. Uh, that's a side of you I haven't seen in a while. But uh, over here, what are we thinking about doing? I got kind of, well, I, I would like to say media room, but, you know, lack of power, I would just say a living room. We'll just plug it into the wood and hopefully it works. Yeah, well, I'll build a wood TV for us. I got you. Oh, Mr. Carpenter over here. Sure and then in here, I'm thinking about doing like a kitchen, kind of preserving cold room, as Freckle calls it. Get some storage boxes and some cooking grills and whatnot up. Would be Make nice. Of, like a barbecue or grill or something of some sort. Right on. And then over here, we were talking workbench, kind of trophy room, brought up some of those wonderful wolves we've had to kill already that are creeping us, and the and, bears that yeah. decide to attack Freckles. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hanging him on the wall. Dead yeah. Redemption. Yeah. <laughs> I have the last laugh now. We should, we should hang that directly above your bed, actually. Yes. <laughs> and then up. Uh, Stairs where the magic happens. You can throw like a gun rack, put up a couple chests or cabinets or whatever, and store ammo and kind of make it our armory up here. And then with our beds and our own personal little storage boxes, this should work out pretty good. Yeah. What do you guys think? Good idea. Good idea. Good plan. Yeah, I'm down with that. You know it's what else definitely... I was thinking too? Oh, sorry. Sorry. It's definitely an upgrade from what we had. And if cool. we're going to be here for way longer than we planned on, might as well make it a little homey. And well, what biggest, we need it for. The biggest thing I think we need to focus on now, too, as well, is considering our last little shack, Home in the Woods, decided to disappear on us or get destroyed by who knows what. We should probably put some sort of defenses or something outside, maybe some towers. I don't yeah, know if we could do like barbed wire or some sort of a fence or something like that. 
would be yeah, nice. Like, sniper tower wouldn't be a bad idea. At least I can do some cover fire if we didn't really need it. That'll just, you know, give us that little bit of protection until we know what exactly did happen to our base, because I'm still confused. Like, there's no way that these puppets have any capability and smarts to be able to just go in and destroy our cabin and then walk away from it and still leave. I just, I don't know. It just makes no sense. So I, I think there's more that. here that we don't know about. Yeah, before the end of the day, we also have to go uh, try to get contact with Zero again, remember? so. Yeah, try and see if those numpties will have any bit of uh, information to tell us. Well, with the last guy we dealt with, it's uh, hard to say. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think he uh, was dropped on his head once or twice when he was little. But, uh, uh, statement. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, anyway, that's, uh, yeah, that sounds good, guys. Let's, uh, let's keep going and see what we can do to finish this off. And then before our nightfall rises here, let's try and go get communication and establish something with uh, Zero. And maybe while we're there, we'll loot a little bit as well, too, because we could really use some stuff considering we lost everything so yeah for sure all right sounds good we should be coming up on that drop here pretty quick the from that information we got from zero oh yeah i see it off to the oh, left there in the bushes oh, okay i'm gonna just ball into the trees here a little bit yeah we got green smoke okay i was gonna park it here zero was saying how these things are highly explosive yeah we got to keep our eyes out as well too for puppets we got wolves we got wolves I got a crowbar on me so I can break a couple. Okay. We'll get uh, Freckles looting. Yeah, if you pop them open, I can go through them. We got 12 minutes. Ah, we're good. Got lots of time. Nice and slow. Why are you... Uh, back left open. I'm slowly working on this one. All right, back to uh, nothing good on that one. I can't get past you. There you go. We've got a creek here as well, too. If anybody needs to fill canteen quick, there's That's a bunch awesome. of lots of time. Water, pop, milk, in these. I'd bring it. I'll grab all the water. Whatever Let's we see. can get. We need as much loot. You want to call it loot as possible. Two middle ones are open. Are you guys much of milk drinkers? Nope. I hate milk. Uh, this last one's open. If you hit escape, I can quickly pop this one. It's oh, okay. maybe not. I'll check this last one. Here. A bunch I'm of clothes in this one. Eighty percent. Oh, I got some oh, nail things. Nice building supplies. Any weapons yeah. or anything like that so far? Ammo. Nothing yet. Uh, I got a weapon cleaning kit. I got a toolbox and some hiking boots. Oh, we were opening the same one. Oh, really? Yeah. You gonna do yeah. this one here then? Uh, I don't got any more. Uh, oh, I gotta to pick out. If you got gotta... if you can get that crowbar. Let me get some stamina back and then I'll hit it. Okay. Yeah. If you guys want to start moving stuff to the truck or whatever. Yeah. We definitely have a lot of time though, which is nice, so we don't have to worry about this thing blowing up on us. Well, for sure. So I think Zero was saying we only have about a 20 minute window once that thing hits the ground, so. Yeah, we get that two minute window with the information that um, the drop is coming in. And then, uh, yeah, 20 minutes uh, once it hits. I'll grab a lock pick out of the vehicle here, and I'll quickly come and grab that one. I don't matter. I'm at 25%. So. Okay. We got time, so just loot up, fill your water, check yourself. I'll just sit here and struggle. Out of breath, working too hard.
You got it. Almost there. Come on, big boy. Just hear that part racing. We got a UMP-45. That's all that was in there. I'm just going to go over here and fill up some water. and. Okay, I'm just going to double check through these. Nice and uh, quiet over here, though, so I think we're all right when it comes to the puppets. And stuff. Yeah, it's kind of interesting for such a... Yeah, drop like this, you think it hitting the ground would stir up a little bit of uh, motion. Noise and whatnot, right? But yeah. Guess not. They don't care too much. Oh, both my canteens are full. Perfect. Might as well take a drink from the stream here while I'm standing here. Might as well. All right, I think I'm good to go. All right, get this head on back and finish what we were doing at the base there. You said you heard wolves when we got out of the truck there? Yeah, I don't hear them anymore though, so they must have veered off from us. I still hear them. Do you? Yeah, I seen one running across on the other side of the road and stuff. Oh. I didn't hear nothing. Nothing hear about me. Alright, well, uh, let's make our way back. Sounds good. They should be it here. Yeah, we got a fuel sign. Uh, do you, I'll hop. I'll stop up here. You guys can hop out and just make a quick sweep of the area. Just make sure we don't got anything too dangerous. Yeah, for sure. Good navigation skills there, Freckles. You're uh, you're learning. I'm, yeah. I'm proud of you. We just needed a GP update. What's this? Oh, I hear wolves. Empty. Gas station does not have a single puppet? Really? You gotta be kidding me. There is not a single puppet here. And one thing I'm actually a little bit more surprised about is that there's actually fuel in these pumps. Still sitting there. I wonder how good this fuel's gonna be for this poor little pickup. Well, I'm pretty sure anything is better than nothing. Alright, keep me covered. I'm filling up now. Yeah, sure, I'll I'll watch out. While I'm inside looting, I did hear wolves though, and they sound like they're pretty close. Don't get eaten by one of them. I'm just We're gonna check this uh, brick house here, brick store just below us. Alright, we'll come down there to you. See if there's anything good in here. I got a shotgun. Oh wow. Some angels flight pants. For those who look good on me. Other than that, it's pretty pretty empty in here. Oh, there's an apple. Take that apple. I enjoy apples. There's an egg. And there's some African what? African biltong? That type of meat. Yeah, dried meat or something. Let's do this. On to the next thing. Let's uh, hit this firing range up here real quick there, Private. Alright, sounds good. I'll just pull off on a third road here. Yeah, we got a puppet on our right. I'm not going to hop out of the vehicle because he'll, he'll get me. You guys want to pop him off? Oh, there's another one. Oh, explosive, explosive, explosive. Take him out, take him out, take him out. 
Nice. Nice shooting. Nice. Okay, clear. Good job, boys. All right, I'm gonna go hit down where the where the range is down here. I'll go up for the tent then. Sounds good. Uh, I got noise. Oh yeah, I got a growler up here. I'm back. Oh, this guy's blind, man. Oh, more. I got hostile down. They're intense now. I got a block 21. We can break down some parts. And a hat. Definitely don't need a hat. Oh, man, the wolves are crazy right now. Getting dark. Yeah. Uh, I hear contact. Too sure on its location. You guys good down there? So far, so good. Yep. Uh, I got a Hunter 85. I don't know if you guys want it, if we want to break it down or nothing. Some shotgun shells, but... Bird shot, I don't like bird shot. Oh, I hear grunting. Where are you? That garbling noise of those puppets. We got puppets here somewhere, I'm just not too sure on its location. It could be off in the firing range somewhere. Not those wolves are close. Keep your eyes on the hills. Anybody hit this tower on the far end here, Fargo? Nope. Okay, I'll hit it. Man, that something's close. I'm just getting reloaded in real quick. Yeah, where is it? Got some high top shoes and some sweatpants. Guys in need of any of that? That should be good. Well, Freckles likes to get hurt though, so it probably wouldn't hurt to have uh, sweatpants to make rags out of. Little man, where, where are they? I cannot find these, but they're close. We should almost always start making our way up to the airport just to get in contact with Zero and see what, see what they have for us. Yeah, they did give us a half bit of decent information there about that drop, so be all right if they had more. Awesome. I'll meet you guys back at the truck. Yeah, sounds good. I'm just gonna quickly check these tents. I checked them already. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay. Oh God! You have to give me a second here. My guy needs to rest. All puckered out. You guys got me working too hard today. That's yeah, been a busy day. Sure has been. Gotta sleep good tonight. Oh yeah. Alright, can you guys guide me back up to the airfield there? Do it. Yeah, going straight down this road. Zero, this is the Faithful Ferris. You got a copy? Faithful Ferris, can I have your copy? Zero, can you give us a little bit of information, follow up on uh, today? We went to that drop. The drop turned out to be half decent loot. Things that we can utilize for the next little while until you guys can get our asses out of here. But uh, yeah, it'd be nice if you had any more information on something around here because there's. There's definitely some stuff going on. Uh, we were looking over the map, and we pulled up the heat signature out of C1. The area can't give you direct details on where in C1, but... 
there might be somebody who else is on the island with you boys. Zero, can you confirm you said heat signature in C1? And that heat signature is not obviously these puppets. I would assume their signature probably comes back. Probably not as uh, anything of any warmth. Correct. If C1 was correct, Faithful Ferrets. Um, and the puppets do not give off any heat signature. They've been hit by the element. They don't have blood flowing through their veins. So they got no body temp. All right, Zero. Thanks for the update. We'll uh, maintain communication and we'll try again get contact with you tomorrow. Maybe uh, we'll head up to C1 and do a little bit of recce and see if we can find anything and we'll report back to you. Faithful Ferret's out. You guys hear that? What? Over radio? Yeah. That there is yeah. a heat signature in... C1? Yeah, I'm still trying to process that. I, I was under the understanding that there was no survivors on this island, and that's why we were coming in here to clean up the puppets. And not that that blows my mind, the fact that somebody is here and has survived is just absolutely insane, if there is someone. But this could also explain why our base was absolutely destroyed. Maybe this heat signature or whatever it is that you know zero had uh um was able to get there on their cans maybe it was kind of, uh, it. i had a thought so whoa whoa I, whoa, I, whoa. I, don't, I, don't I, think I know, too hard don't think too hard there, Tyler. i know i got the full of my ears but the one thing that i found kind of funny is we came across this half decent looking shelter and do you think maybe somebody might have been mad that we took it over and decided to destroy it? Because if they can't have it, why should somebody else? They put their hard time and work into put, building this thing. I'd probably be pissed too if someone took it over. That's a good observation. It's a good possibility we went in there and we took it over and they came back when we weren't there or, you know, they or them or who knows, maybe it's one, maybe it's two, I don't know. But yeah, that's definitely a good observation. They could have seen that and then decided they were going to wreck it. Like you said, they can't have it. Nobody can have it. And now we got ourselves a little bit of a possible situation we're going to have to deal with. So. Well, I guess we'll but, see what the future holds. Yeah. Tonight we'll just have to make sure that we kind of stay on guard and maybe we'll do shifts or something like that sitting in the uh, sniper post there that we built up at the base just to keep eyes out, make sure that nobody comes in on us at the at nighttime and you know, at the same time, too, if we get any puppets or anything like that, we can take them out. For sure. We'll, uh, we'll regain in the morning, and we'll uh, make our little bit of a plan and head up to C1 and see if we can find anybody. Sounds good. All right. Well, let's uh, make our way back now. Cool. Let's go.